everyone. It's a Joy English School. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of us were ready. Today is February 17th. We're on pages 38 and 39 in your magazine. Our title today is The Benefits of... Of reading. 嗯，那我们今天二月十七号在三十八、三十九页。我们今天主题很有趣，哎，是书中自有黄金屋，阅读的优点。Reading can improve your life in many ways. I think that's something we all agree with.、Mm, yeah, 阅读呢，那可以从很多的方面改善你的生活。Okay, here's a question: Do you think people read more today because of the internet, or do you think they read more? Let's say like sixty years ago, fifty years ago. I think fifty years ago they read more. Do you、they、think so?、Mm-hmm. Because I think we forget how important TV was in people's lives. They all watch three or four hours of TV a day, but now some of that TV time is used on the internet. Now maybe they're not reading a book, but they are reading. Maybe they're reading the news or they're reading something from their friends. I think. People engage with words more today than we did fifty years ago. I, I really think. But、that. I mean, young generations they use Instagram. They're more about pictures, not about the words. The But、caption. there are words. I won't call that reading. I, I I think I agree with you that when we talk about the benefits of reading,、mm. I think the idea is you're reading a、Books. book. But I I don't know. My 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 dad had this idea. Whatever I wanted to read. He he would just let me read, so he would make me go to bed early, and he said, "You don't have to go to bed. You could stay up reading, but you have to be in bed.、Hey. You don't have to sleep. Read whatever you want." And so I would read comic books and magazines, and nothing really serious, but I was constantly reading. W- would you count that? Yeah, I mean, at least that's still a book. Comic book is still a book, but now, like on your, you know, your phone, your iPad. I don't know. It's hard to define. I I agree. I I don't. Let me say it this way. I don't disagree with you, but and, but that, that's a good question for you guys. Then it is reading like on the internet, flipping through the news, or scrolling Facebook、yeah. or Instagram. Is that reading, or it, are you just looking at words with your eyes? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 对，大家可以想一下哦。你觉得现在你划手机看新闻，或者是看你朋友 PO 的东西，算阅读吗？ Good question. <laughs> I think the way you said that is <laughs> not fair, but okay. Let's get right into our paragraph right after this. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back, and let's look at this first paragraph today. People who love to read will tell you that they find entertainment in good fiction, or that they enjoy learning new things by reading nonfiction. 喜欢阅读的人会告诉你，他们在优良的文学作品中找到乐趣，或是他们喜欢透过非文学的书籍学习新知识。Oh man, this first sentence has a lot of stuff. So let's look at the very beginning. People who love to read.、Mm. We use this adjective clause here. People who love to read, because we want to give more information about the people who. Well, we're not really naming somebody. We're talking about this kind of person. So we use the noun person, who, and then that extra detail. Oh, the, these people that love to read. Now we know who we're talking about. 嗯，所以在这边我们可以看到 who love to read 可以上引号下引号夸起来拉一条箭头到 people。我们用 who love to read 去限定去补充说明，我们现在讲的人群是喜欢阅读的这群人。Now underline the word fiction. That means it's a story. It's not real. And then later we have nonfiction at the end of the sentence. 嗯，那我们这边可以看到 fiction 这个字，我们可以把它画起来。Fiction 就代表它是虚构的 ，nonfiction 就代表它不是虚构的。That's right. It's a, it's something real. It's about a real person or a real thing.、Mm-hmm. Do you like fiction or nonfiction? Both. Really? Yes. Equally?、Mm-hmm. I'm very much. I like nonfiction. I. It's weird, but I feel when I'm reading fiction. Like I'm wasting my time.、What? I'm not learning. I know. I know. Listen. I know that's bad thinking because stories, fiction from the past, teaches you about their world. It gives you a real picture into their world. But every time I read fiction, I keep thinking I'm wasting my time. Th-、wow. It's just how my brain works because I like history. I used to teach social studies. I I care about the facts of history. 那你觉得你是一个很 creative 的人吗 ，Chris 老师 ？I don't know. I I would want to be humble here and let other people decide that. But for me, I feel like when I'm reading fiction, 
I would rather be reading that fiction. <laughs> wow! So you can imagine, you are the kind of person who likes fiction, or you like the kind of fiction that is about history or related books. What do you think about that? I I think there's a lot of people that love history that also feel like this. But anyways, let's continue. Recent studies show that there are many other hidden benefits to reading regularly. 那最近的研究显示，频繁阅读的还有其他非常 hidden、非常这个隐匿、隐藏的好处。So please pay attention to there are man students love to mess this up in my class.、Mm. When we say there are, remember it means yo, but it's not your thing. Like if you reach in your desk and just na bian yo ipen su busanita, you don't take it out and say, "Teacher, I have a book," because that means it's your book. And I'm like,、oh, "Okay, good job, good job, Tommy. You have a book." If you find a thing and it's not yours, we want to say there is or there are. 嗯，所以这边注意哦，是 there is there are， 不是 there has there has， 没有这种用法。Yeah. 所以这边要注意，如果我用 there is there are 句子，就代表这个东西是在那里的，不属于我的时候，我就会用 there is there are. Okay, at the end of the sentence, we have hidden benefits to. Reading regularly. Circle the two. We have a V I N G after this. Please be、mm. careful. The hidden benefits to reading, usually verb to verb, or we after two we want to use a base form verb. Yuan Qing Dong Se. We got a V I N G here. Circle that. 嗯，所以这边 benefits to 对什么有益，后面的动词要用 I N G， 特别特别圈起来。Okay, let's jump right into paragraph two here. The physical benefits of Reading include strengthened brain connections and reduced stress levels. 阅读所带来的实体优点还包含了增强你脑部的连接和降低压力的水平。So circle P H Y S in the word physical.、Mm-hmm. That always means it's about your body. You probably remember like P E class. The P in P E means physical education because you're running and playing and doing things. 嗯，所以把这边 P H Y 圈起来，看到 P H Y 的字首，大部分跟你的身体有关系。所以像学校的课程，体育课叫 P E， 就是这个 physical education。And at the end of the sentence, we have the word reduced stress levels. Stress is an uncountable noun, so we could say lower stress levels, but we can't say fewer. Stress levels because fewer needs a countable noun. 嗯，所以这边 stress 压力这个字是不可数名词。我们可以用 lower， 但不可以用 fewer， 因为 few 后面要接可数的名词。Next sentence says scientists have discovered that many different areas of the brain are at work when someone gets involved in a story. 那科学家发现，一个人专注于一个故事的时候，脑部许多不同的部分都同时在运作。What's your favorite book? Hmm, that's a good question. I think is 简爱。Dude, I love that book. Yeah. I don't know what book that is. <laughs> <laughs> I like The Little Prince. That's my favorite、oh, book. The Little Prince. The Xiao Wangzi. I really like that story. All right, let's continue. <laughs> This brain activity can continue for many days. 那这样子的脑部活动可以持续好几天。This kind of mental stimulation helps to keep the brain and body healthy, especially as we age. 啊，我好喜欢 stimulation 这个词哦。这种精神的 stimulation 刺激呢，有助于保持大脑和身体的健康，尤其是在我们成长的阶段。That's exactly right. When we age, it just means as we get older. But get older sounds a little bad, so age sounds okay. I,、uh, you know what I noticed in this article? Yeah. This we 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 have the verb help many times,、mm. and when you hear foreigners speak, a lot of times they won't use. To after the verb help, but I think every time in this article we have help to do something. It's not wrong. It's not wrong.、Uh, I, I think most foreigners will not say to after the verb help. Taiwanese really like to use it because it's kind of it fits with most grammar rules. But I think it's an ish, interesting choice. None of it feels weird to me, but I will say that I did notice. We all we say help to verb a lot in this article today. 
。嗯，所以老师说，虽然文法上来讲 ，have 后面接原形动词或接 to 加动词都是对的，但是他说 native speaker 啊，可能他们英文是母语的人比较不会加 to。但我们这一篇文章全部可能都是因为顺的比较好念，然后也比较符合我们的台湾的，就是教的这种正确的文法，所以整篇都是用 help to 原形的方法来写。All right, let's continue. In fact, thirty minutes of reading can lower one's blood pressure and heart rate, just like practicing yoga or having a good laugh. Wow! So he says, "In fact, reading thirty minutes can lower one's blood pressure and heart rate, just like practicing yoga or having a good laugh." Wow! So he says, "In fact, reading thirty minutes can lower one's blood pressure and heart rate, just like practicing yoga or having a good laugh." Wow! So he says, "In fact, reading thirty minutes can lower one's blood pressure and heart rate, just like practicing yoga or having a good laugh." Wow! So he says, "In fact, reading thirty minutes can lower one's blood pressure and heart rate, just like practicing yoga." And we、uh, have a good laugh, or we're just when we when we laugh. That's just a simple way to say that. Hmm. When we laugh, the show when we laugh. So check this out. Apparently, there are seven hundred fifty-five thousand seven hundred fifty-five new books published each year. So mania, what is it? Ah, seventy five thousand isn't that like a super specific number? I know this was from like a book publisher, and I thought that was so weird. How do you know that clearly? How many books are written? Well, their profession. Yeah, it's just so specific. Um, <laughs> okay. Very specific. Even that. 个位数都有这样 Okay, okay. What are the three most read books in history? Bible, the Bible, yeah, that's really clearly. That's right, really clear one. Another one, the words from Chairman Mao. Hmm, Mao Zedong 语录 The other most widely read book in history is Harry Potter. Is <laughs> Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. Right, it's like the Bible, <laughs> Mao, and, and Harry Potter. <laughs> fiction. <laughs> the, yeah, I, fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other two. Nonfiction. Nonfiction. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's continue on to our final paragraph.、Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back to Enjoy English School. We're talking about our day one article of the benefits of reading. Let's look at our final paragraph. On top of that, reading books helps us to improve our vocabulary and understanding of others. 那 on top of that 是一个非常好的转成词哦，就代表除了我们刚刚上述所说的以外，除此之外，阅读还能帮助我们拓展我们的词汇量以及我们对别人的了解。So this s at the end of others actually just means people. So we can say the understanding of other people,、mm -hmm. but this s it sounds a little bit more fluent, sounds a little bit more normal. Let's continue. When we read a book, we are Constantly strengthening our language skills. 那当我们阅读一本书的时候，我们会不断的强化我们的 language， 我们的语言能力。Reading can also expose us to different ways of thinking about the world. 那阅读呢，还可以让我们接触到各国不同对于世界的见解。This helps us to develop the ability to understand the thoughts and feelings of other people. 那这有助于我们发展了解其他人的想法和感受的这种能力。There we go. So in this paragraph, we have two times help us to improve, help us to develop. Those are totally fine. I, I think I would say help us improve, help us develop. But this is also totally fine. Something you can do. 嗯，所以这边老师只要特别在提醒，要不要加 to 在 help 后面，其实都是可以的哦。And our final sentence today, even though reading is an individual activity, it can actually improve our social skills. 那虽然呢，阅读是一种 individual activity， 个人的一种活动啊，但它其实能够改善我们的 social skills， 我们的社交技能。And we're left on a a little bit of a, a cliffhanger here. We don't know. How that reading can actually improve our social skills, but but that seems to make sense to me, right?、Mm -hmm. There, I guess, if you read a lot of books, that you can have something else more to talk about with other people,、mm. because there are some books that everybody kind of reads, like we talked about Harry Potter. I've never read a Harry Potter book, but I do know a lot of people. 
that have, and there's the, I'm sure they're happy to talk to me about it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, so check this out. In the past, people did not know how to read without talking. There was oh. actually something people had to learn. Mm. They had to learn to read silently. And oh. when they learned to read silently, it was big trouble. Oh, so he says. Teacher said, "Back then, people didn't know how to read silently. So reading silently was something that you had to learn to do. That's right. And not only that, when people did learn to read silently, it was big trouble. Oh, so he says. Teacher said, "Back then, people didn't know how to read silently. So reading silently was something that you had to learn to do. That's right. And not only that, when people did learn to read silently, They still had to move their mouths like they were talking. So then they had to practice not just reading quietly, but also not moving your mouths. You had to learn how to do that. Oh, so he says, "Before, people didn't read silently. Okay, I learned it, but my mouth still had to move. So you have to learn how to read silently, completely silent, 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 completely silent." You were trying to hide something.、Oh. They didn't know what you were reading because they couldn't hear you, and they couldn't look at your mouth, so they couldn't kind of guess what you were thinking. So they were worried that you were reading something dangerous, maybe something bad, or maybe just some something that would cause a lot of problems. Maybe something illegal that t- says bad things about the king or the local leader. 嗯，所以以前的人他们就会经过一段时间，因为他们开始默读了之后，他们不知道你在念什么，没办法从嘴型看出来，别人就会担心说你是不是在读一些不好的东西啊。Another thing about the past is that books, of course, we probably know were really expensive, but another thing about them is we didn't put our names. On the front of books. Oh, so old books. We now have books. Books on the front of books. Old 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 books on the front of books. Like in the code that only Da Vinci could understand. 嗯，所以这是达文西他写的一本书，是目前最贵的。那谁拥有它呢 ？Well, Bill Gates bought it. And, and, yeah, I don't know <laughs> really、surprised. what you do with it, but yeah. So Bill Gates bought it, and Bill Gates we know used to be the richest person in the world.、Mm-hmm. But when he bought this, he was making three hundred U.S. dollars a, a second. second every single second. So. It didn't take him very long to pay for the world's most expensive book. 嗯，所以我们曾经的世界首富比尔盖茨先生，他目前拥有这本达文西世界上最贵的书。那他是一秒钟赚三百块美金。That's right. If Bill Gates found like a hundred U.S. dollars on the ground, 他不会下去捡。That that's right. Him bending over, taking out his wallet and putting it in his wallet would actually be a bigger waste of time than just standing. 好爽哦！<笑>比尔盖茨一天就可以买那本书。That's yeah. He's no problem. Let's get right in to our vocab for today. Our first word today is an uncountable noun, entertainment. 那我们今天第一个字是一个不可数名词 ，entertainment， 也就是代表说是娱乐。Next, we have our adverb regularly. 规律的副词 regularly. Next, we have strengthened. Strengthen 就代表你加强、增强是一个动词。It just means get stronger.、Mm-hmm. Next we have to be at work. 那就代表你在工作 ，to be at work， 或者是说正在进行什么样的事情。Our next phrase is to lower something. 那就代表降低，跟 reduce 是一样的意思。And then next we have number six. It's another uncountable noun. Understanding. 
那另外一个不可数名词 understanding 就代表对他人的了解。Okay, two more to expose somebody to somebody or something. 那 expose 就代表说去曝露或者去呃放在阳光下那种感觉，就是让大家都可以看得到。And lastly, to develop or to grow. 最后一个呢 ，develop grow 就是代表发展的意思。All right, and with that, we're done with day one of our benefits of reading article, but we'll be back tomorrow with day two for enjoying the school. I'm Chris Korsky. I'm Minnie, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.